Well, this beam, I was at the National Trappers Convention in 1987, Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. I got this beam from uh, Charles Dobbins. Just as far, I built the, the bottom, but. And this is oak or ash? I don't know what it is. I think it's maple. You think so? I don't know what it to is. To me, it looks like ash or oak. I traded Charles Dobbins skunk essence for this back in 1987. So nice. that was a couple years ago. A <laughs> couple years ago. A couple. Yeah, like 40. It was a long time Something. ago. And, and, in 1987, I didn't know who Charles Dobbins was. No. He was just a guy at a trapper's convention selling yeah. stuff. So this beam, I got from him. I don't know if he built it, if he was just selling them. So how many beaver, otter, muskrats, oh, coon, coon do you think you flushed with this? Thousands. Thousands? Thousands. And here's your flesh and knife. And that's a, what kind is this? Is that this, is a... Is a what? No, no, this is a... a Necker. Necker, okay. Yeah. Necker, what is it, 300, 600, what's the number? Mm, 600. 600, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I've went through several leads over the and years. Here's the hog over here, that's the beaver we caught. Today. Uh, well, about a week ago, you guys saw it get skinned, but today uh, you're gonna see it get flushed, and we're gonna put it on a board. This is a freaking monster. Yes, that is a monster. This is a monster, I can hardly lift it. So I'm just the, making sure there's no burrs or anything in it to hit with the knife. The nice thing about catching them under the ice is they're generally pretty dang clean. If we have no snow, yeah. if we had snow, yeah, this is this is a pig. This is this is when you skin, you do not clean skin because it's faster to just rough skin yep. and flush. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of clean up the head here a little bit. I'm tripping on this cardboard here. When you got a beaver this size, there's a lot of meat everywhere. There's like no... So I'm just trying to get past. I might be better off with the knife, with the... So I'm out of practice, so hope the guy don't cut any holes, but I probably will. Just take your time, like that, just take your time. So once we get past the head, so <clears throat> what I like to do is take these ear holes and make them a little bit bigger. So you kind of get a feel for that. So now that can dry on the board better. So now we got all this jaw muscle here. So those beaver get caught right here, you can see the carnivore mark, right behind the ear is perfect. Couldn't ask for any better than that. Especially on a big beaver. Big freaking monster. So how much are you pushing down versus sliding? Kind of the same? <laughs> Just you get a feel. I right? don't know. You, you get a feel. I found that coon have a lot of fat, so you can be a little rough around. The hardest thing I've ever fleshed is a possum. It's like trying to... It's like uh, paper. It's like trying to shave a piece of uh, tissue paper in half. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. Well, it's, it's a learning curve yeah. for all of it. You were saying the guy that you saw that did the best job and the fastest is who? Greg? Greg Traders. Awesome. Yeah. I've seen other guys online, you know, that... Do it all the time? Yeah. 
they work for for a fur buyer. They don't trap. All right, this is all they do. They they process fur. All right. So when that's all you do, you get really good. I'm not that good. So these lips will all come off, so we're not worried about that a little bit there. And this knife ain't super sharp, but it's okay. And on these big beaver like this, everything is harder than normal because they're so thick and so gristly. That's a big beaver. I'm not used to doing this big yeah, bugger. It's stretch big. This is going to be big. How many inches do you think it'll be? I'm thinking it's going to be between 75 and 80 inches. Yeah. We're going to we're going to stretch it just because. Right, because we. Want I want to know. Right. I wouldn't I, be surprised at all if it's 80. It could be. Which is big. So if someone wants a really big beaver to hang on the wall, this is it. This is it. And yeah, they get bigger, especially down south, but up here this is big. Thing is, down south they may get bigger, but the fur quality is up there. Right. This is awesome. This is top quality fur. Right. You know. So take that in consideration. Like a human, the bigger the other, more muscle they got. Well, or fat. Yeah, yeah. But no, this is a this is one of the biggest beaver I've done. I mean, I have a beaver bigger, but it rare, very rare to catch beaver this size. And that's because they get trapped pretty hard by us. Yeah, we pound a, we pound the hell out of them. Everybody yeah. around here does. And the thing is, when we're trapping in the spring, we're not trapping these big, big, you know, where they live. Pond beavers. Or Pond beavers. Lake beavers. Yeah. We're catching the young travelers. That's what we're catching. Where's my pail? Right there. Yeah, this, my flushing beam is ready to tip over. There's so much weight hanging on it. Hard to, hard to do one this big. Yeah. So that's scar, that's a scar. See the white spots yeah. there? If you hit them wrong, they blow up on you. You got a hole. So I'm assuming on this beaver, there's gonna be a bunch of scars. Yeah, big ones. Especially yeah. since it's a male. So there's another scar. Yeah. So I gotta go kind of slow here. There's another Another scar. So this is where another beaver bit him. Yep. That's front and back teeth. It's old, it's healed over, but if you rip on that, that blows up on you. It's usually more towards the back end too, right? Yes. There's another one. Scar, yep. You got a lot of scars. That's the problem with these big ones. Oh, it's awesome. Nope, it's all bit to hell. All these white spots are scars. One, two, three, four, five, right there. Yep. So you got to go kind of gentle on them. I can't really rip on these. There's some more scars. So that devalues the hide automatically. To catch a big beaver without scars is very rare. Normally, I would push this off. I would flip my blade over and roll this off, but on a beaver this big, you gotta cut it. I can't physically do it. I 
lot of fat, very fat beaver. Fat and happy. Mm -hmm. Well, not anymore. Well, he served his term. Yeah. I don't even know when I can flip my blade here. I normally would have flipped it by now, but another thing, if you got a scar up here and you push too hard, rip through it. You'll pop that scar open. Yeah. So I don't like to shave this much because this beaver is so big. I have to. A small beaver, I would flip this over and just roll this push off. It up, yep. Kind of like a cool and you just push it off. It can't, with well, these big guys, you can't do that. Well, it's just so much more meat. It's, it's massive. It's just a massive ordeal here. It's like 20 pounds of stuff hanging here. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, way different than normal. You know those guys that will have this little bit of, or see the color from the white to the. Yeah. Green. It doesn't matter. It doesn't it's matter. Be anyway, yeah. Yeah, I can't, can't. I can't push it. It's just too massive. And I don't like that. There we go. Okay, so there's more scars right yep. there. There's there two more scars. Trying to get some weight off here, but I'm not getting there yet. No. Fresher scar there, huh? Mm -hmm. That yield all the way right there, that red one? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I think we're coming up on a back leg, I think. This thing's so big, I don't even know where the heck I'm at. Let's get this separated here. It's a pound of fat. Oh, it's more than a pound. <laughs> yeah. Still weighs about 20 pounds. But right next to the leg hole ain't the end of the world. You can just tack that. Right. You can just tack that with the pins and the nails. This gets hard where you gotta fight. Right now I'm fighting all this weight. So I'm gonna take some weight off. Get some weight off here so I can finish that back leg. Here's the front leg here, so I would normally roll this off, but it, this is so, it's such a big beaver, I can't. Yep. I can't do it. So every time you make a nice stroke, you're taking a risk yep. of hitting a scar or something. I would normally just go whoosh, 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 done. I can't do that on this, on this beaver. Well, now that I cut a little bit, so you're pushing it, you're not cutting. Yeah, this is a big son of a gun. Let's 
So we're going to come up here pretty soon on some nipples. There's another scar right there. There's another scar right there. And that's usually how it is with these big guys. They've been fighting their whole lives. Do the males have more scars than females, or doesn't it really matter? Usually the males, yeah. yeah. They're like a dog defending their turf, turf you know. No different than a person. They built a nice place, established a good yard, have good crops. If someone comes in trying to take it over. See, all these, white, uh, all these white spots are old scars. It's, there's a lot of them. But old scars are better than new scars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. New scars pop open on you. This is a scar right here, this purple stretch here. here so I can handle it. <laughs> God, it's a lot of weight down there. So I can also say, where am I? Okay, there's the head. So I'm coming up on the front leg here. Tell by the sound how thick the height is. Yeah. yeah. I just want to get rid of some weight here. Okay, there's like a pound. Oh, yeah. What a monster. I can't even work with it because it's so big and heavy. Okay, so there's a nipple right there. Yeah. On the females, if you hit that, like in the spring, that would rip a monster hole. So we're yeah. gonna leave that alone. And they have four nipples just like a female does. They all have four nipples. So I'm gonna get rid of this other side. So I'm not fighting all this weight. So this is taking like more than twice as long as Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. So you put the towel in between me for traction. So I can hold it with my belly while I'm pushing. Yep. Probably nobody's going to watch this except for people that don't know how. Any of the professionals are going to laugh at me and go, oh, yeah, you're doing whatever, this. you're doing a bad job. Like, no, I, I do all right. Yeah. So every time we do videos and some professional watches is like, oh, God, you should have done this, you should have done or, that. Like, or some self-proclaimed professional. Self-proclaimed, yep. Yeah. I'm not a professional. <laughs> this, is, this is what I do for a living. Yeah, he's only done this a couple thousand times. And these big ones are very, very difficult. Oh, yeah. There's another scar. They're, right they're so, yeah, that's a scar. That's scar. a scar. Dozens of scars. Yeah, this is a battle. This is a battlefield beaver here. This was a male. It was a big male. It's the biggest male beaver that I, I think I've ever caught. He's probably lived there for 10 years. I don't know. I have no clue. I know it's a big ass beaver. So you're better off to leave a little bit on him to not blow it open. Yeah. You blow them scars open, you got a lot of holes. Okay, we got some pounds off here. That helps. Let's 
See, that's the scar right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to push that issue. Get a knife right there. So I peel back the top of the scar. See a dark spot? Mm -hmm. I just peeled back that scar. So we're not going to push that. Front leg or back leg there? This is back leg. I just opened another scar right there. Yep. Damn it. But being right next to the leg, we can pin that. Yeah. We can make that go away. So The bad scars and the ones you rip open in the middle of the back, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. But usually it's around the back legs, yep. the front yeah. shoulders, the head. I mean, these beaver, they, Attack they the kill each other. Yep. They, could, yeah. they literally, no, they kill each other. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a guy did a video a few years ago, and he took a took a beaver that was dead, frozen, put it on the bank, propped it up like it was sitting there. Seven or eight different beavers came during the night attacked and it. just attacked it, just bit it and bit it and bit it and bit it, and it was mm -hmm. hundreds of bites. Mm-hmm. That's what nature does. Yeah, everybody thinks it's... They uh, kill each other. They don't hold hands and no, suck lollipops. No, it's, just, it's not It's not Disney. It's uh, nope. brutal. They kill each other. Like A lot of people don't realize, like bears think, oh, bears are just cute and cuddly. An adult male bear coming into a new territory, if he finds a female in heat, he will kill the cubs. The cubs. Her cubs, yes. Yep, he'll kill the cubs because he wants her to come into heat so he can breed her. Yep. And they think, oh, they're just all happy drinking Coca-Colas. No. No. It's not nature. Most people have no clue of nature. It's, th it's a tough life. Deer will kill each other for the right to breed a female. Yep. Elk will kill each other for the right to breed Moose a too. female. Moose. Almost all deer members will kill just to pass their genes on. Yep. And that's normal. That's not yes, unusual. it is. Okay, we're not going to get too fancy here. We can always trim it off later. But. You've taken off probably six, seven pounds. It's quite a bit. Yeah. All right, so we got a little bit around this leg, which and it sucks. We got a little bit here, we're just gonna trim this with a knife. This is right around the butthole right here. You see that, that real soft? Yeah, thing. you gotta be careful here. Okay, so we got front shoulders to go yet. Jeez. Yeah, it's a job. Yeah. This is like a King Kong project. And this is real grisly, around the front shoulder, between the ear and the front leg here. Yep. This is a real grisly, so you gotta be careful here. It's, it cuts hard. You can't push it, you gotta shave it. So the front lips are right here. And on a, on a super big beaver like this, it's, it's worse. Everything about a beaver this size is worse. Everything. Carrying it. 
skinning it, flushing it, stretching it. Normally I would clean this up, but I'm not going to do it on this beaver because the price ain't going to change. Nope. God, I can't believe how heavy the height is. It still is, yeah. It's still. Before you started, it was probably 10 pounds. Now it's probably six. It's still, <laughs> it's still heavy. Yeah, like I said, we, I do not catch beaver this big very often. It's very, very seldom. This is like a trophy. This is like shooting a 180 inch buck. Yeah. For people that know what that means. Yeah. This is one of those things that in another 10, hopefully more like 20 years when we're. Uh, so there's a nipple, yeah. but that yeah. wasn't terrible. When we're unable to uh, go do this kind of stuff, we're going to talk about. Remember that big Remember one? Remember that big one we caught? Remember that big buck? Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. Because when you get old, all you got is a lot of stories, generally. We're getting there pretty quick. Yeah, yeah it's coming. coming. We're not far behind that no. at all. Yeah, we just keep fighting gravity every day. So every Some day. Some days gravity wins and we fall down. And you pretend you found a I quarter. fall down all the time. Yeah, I do too. Well, you guys seen it in the South Dakota <laughs> video where I <laughs> fell. Yeah, I found 50 cents on that trip. Yeah. So we got a little bit here to clean up. What's I'm gonna do with this? So get that little bit off there. I could roll this little bit of meat, which I could probably leave it. Yeah. Like anything else, you got to know what to say. Good enough. That is a long hide. So let's throw the tape on it here. Well, let's get it. We'll get a board and we'll tape it. Well, we're gonna stretch it. Yeah. You want to just tape that? Yeah, I just want to see hanging. Hanging. It's um, forty-eight inches. That's a whopper. <laughs> okay, so let's go get a board. I did dig out the big board. So that all came off of that beaver, that whole bucket. So half of a what is that? A two and a half gallon bucket. I don't know what that is. Favorite goodies. <clears throat> so this is the one of two big boards that you have, right? And uh, how many boards do you have? 20, 30? Got 40? enough to do 100 beaver. So yeah, you got a lot. That got, is a big board. I got enough boards to do 100 beaver. I've only got two big, enough, big enough to do these. Yeah, because we're gonna be outside these lines. I don't yeah, know what right up to the edge. Probably. Well, we'll see. I mean, I'm just guessing. I could be wrong. 41, 41 by 31. So that's 72. 72 inches. So you're gonna be past that easily. I, I think we're gonna blow it out of the water with this one. Yeah. Okay. So I always like to drag them up this way so it flattens out that fur. Fur. Gonna take a couple nails on this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good size beaver. So pull, pull or as line. they say in Maine, you know what they say in Maine? 
It's not beaver. It's beva. Be beva. Yeah. Beva. So pull that to the line. Or That's below the line, line right there. Okay, just tack it. Let me feel it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be outside the line. A little bit. Not a lot. So I go out another inch? Yeah, if, if you can. Yeah, I got, I'm loose out here. Yeah. Now, so we might have to re readjust, rejigger. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm an inch past and it's soft. soft. So this is going to be take a little learning here. So let's just get it inch, kind of inch past the line and then start over. Maybe. Yeah, we might have to start over on this one. It's tightening up now, so. It looks big. Uh oh, we it lost is, one. It is big. I didn't want to pull too much on this end until you get yours. No, let me get the top. Yeah, you need to do top first, always. We kind of got it rounded out. So, the official measurement is 44 there. You go again. You had it up against the nail. 44. 44. That's 30, 33. 77. That's good size beaver. I can't believe it ain't bigger. My 77's biggest, big. My biggest is 82. Oh, well, there you go. 77 is a big beaver. There's no, there's no doubt. I don't. Size so here, so we got scar, 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 yeah, scar, 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 here, scar, scar. There, 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 there. 77. There, 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 I thought there. this one, well. I'm going to try to count the, the bites. I think I told one, you. Two, three, four, five. Before six, we started, seven, it was going be, to beat 75. So I wasn't, I wasn't wrong. But really, that's not that bad for this big of a beaver. It's about 40 holes, 40 scars. Scars. So scars. it's 20 bites because you got one on each side yes, usually. Yes. Usually. So there's about 40, so give or take. My prediction in the beginning, I don't know if I talked about it, yeah. was it's going to be 75. 75. 77. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I win. Yeah. Both blankets. Both nice ones. Nice, clean, clear, beautiful. No scars. No scars. Nice beaver. Happy, happy, happy. There you go.